Make it so. Aye, aye, Captain. Adam and Corwin are playing games. They're both so stupid and lame. The show is going to hell. In, In a handbasket. Hi, everyone. I'm Corwin. This is Adam. You're watching Handbasket Gaming. We're continuing to play Dream Daddy. Oh, I closed my eyes too hard. Now my eyes are all splotchy. We're going to check out some non-sploitation music. Man, this is a little overwhelming. Hey, let me help you find something you might like. If you were like a milkshake, what flavor would you be? Um, a mixture of vanilla and something yeah. purple. This is 100% a question I would ask somebody. Purple. Do it. Purple. Do it. Purple. <laughs> That's your answer. All right. All right. Purple. If you could only buy one type of candle scent for the rest of your life, what would it be? What? Daffodil Mountain Spring, Camouflage Summer Breeze, Spring Creek Fireball, Power Violence Cherry Blossom. <laughs> What? I like Spring Creek Fireball myself. That's like got a real cinnamony smell to it, so you're on that cinnamon smell forever. Camouflage Summer Breeze. That's my choice. Okay. What's your favorite ambient sound? I can't believe right, we're having no this conversation. Joke. These honestly. are all questions I ask people at work all the time. Wow. Okay. Um. I... Ooh. Okay. So legit, there is. I can't remember what the website is right now. I might, future Adam might throw it up for you if he can remember it. There is a site where it's just like hours upon hours of the bridge background noise from the Star Trek, or Starship Enterprise. It is amazing. Like I listen to that when I'm <laughs> at work and I really like, I really need to get shit done. It just puts me in a zone and it's glorious. That's cool. So I'm clicking it. I can respect that. What's your dream vacation spot? Um, um, I mean, it's side active fucking. I like, uh, I like islands. I like the ocean, but I also like my backyard. Uh, let's go. Your backyard's got all these dudes in the area. I, I think I'm going for, for beach. Cause I like the beach a lot. What's your deepest, darkest fear? Spiders. Or the people who are nice to me only because they want something from me. I fear that I don't deserve happiness. Whoa, Jesus. What if nobody exists but me and I fabricated this universe saying you too and the waiter tells you to enjoy your food? <laughs> oh. Um. You're welcome. <laughs> Rafiki. <laughs> um. I. Uh. Corwin, help. This is your deepest, darkest fear. Man. God damn it. Okay, fine. Which Matt, thanks pick? for a moment. Nothing. I'm gonna rewatch it, figure it out. No, you won't. Future Corwin, stop! Don't d forget this. <laughs> Hypnosis noises. What? Hmm. Oh, I know just the thing. Oh. Matt runs to the other end of the store and returns holding a record behind his back. He shows it to me. This is Trouble Will Find Me by the National. I like the National. I don't. I know you don't. It was it was on one of the uh, one of the mix CDs that Jen made me when we were first dating, and like I think I would normally I would probably be meh about them in general, but I strongly dislike them because of all of the hours spent trying desperately to like them. Because the girl I was dating liked that them. I did the same thing for once. Who boy? It's just no. This like is it's not just good. it's not fun to listen to. Like I like. I, I like my music. You like to just... ska music? I get it. In addition to other things, yes, so, I like ska so you music. You like ska music? That's what you're saying. In addition to other music, so I what, like. So what? So what you're gonna... trying to say to me right hey, now? Hey, look, you have lines to read. Shut the fuck up. Nashville has their own sad guy sound. An album by the this point, they're old pros and feeling blue. Not like that ska music you like so much, but the music is so amazing that it'll actually cheer you up. I disagree. Whoa, dude. Thanks for the recommendation. It's garbage, but I like your arm tattoo. <laughs> You're gonna have a great time with it. Promise. Matt and I bring our records to the cash register. A young girl with a septum ring and a buzz cut stands behind the counter with one earbud in. Usual stuff today, Matt. I don't know why she sounds like us. She does. That's It's just true. Just some light pickups. Matt places three albums on the counter. Swear I'm Good at This by Diet Sig, Forever by Mystery Skulls, and The Greatest Hits by Rem Remo Drive. 
I have never heard of any of those. I'm not sure any of them are real. Tight. 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 Kesha rings Matt up and hands back his albums in a bag. She stares at me suspiciously. Are you a fucking cop? Who's the nerd? Who's the nerd? This nerd is my buddy Garth. Garth, this beacon of human charm is Molly. <laughs> I got, I got kicked, kicked out, out of art school, school for destroying, destroying my paintings, paintings at the end of every critique. Lovely to meet you. Anyway, Matt, Matt is, is the open, open mic night still on? You know it. And Third Wave's gonna be a special acoustic performance. I, I might, might see, see if I can get a few of the girls together. There's an open mic night going on? Yeah, dude. We do it every month at the Coffee Spoon. Some amazing talent always comes through. I don't know why, but you said spoon and it cracked me the spoon. fuck up. Spoon! <laughs> Got a flyer for it right here. Right here, right here. <laughs> you and Amanda should come by that night. Matt blushes. I mean, if you're not doing anything. Will. Cool. Bacon, Bacon Vale. Be, be playing. playing. <laughs> If only. <laughs> I finished paying for my record and we head out of the store. Man, what a trip down memory lane. I haven't been in a record shop like that since Vans had sh shag carpeting. <laughs> now that you mention it, isn't it strange to think that all those weird little musical memories? How do you mean? Well, I think of music as a very time and place sort of thing. A song is important to me. Not only that I think it sounds good, but where I was and what I was doing when I listened to it. Yeah, one of Green Day's albums will always Very mean accurate. Final Fantasy IX to me. I feel the same way about a, uh... Whoa, shit. Never mind. There's music that reminds me of X's. <laughs> you remind me of X's? Or struggling through school? Or being some poor? That I didn't know where my next meal was coming from? All that stuff and listening to those songs remind me of those moments in my life. Yeah, now that I think of it, even the pop concert Amanda made me take her to is special to me. I mean, I'm not really a fan of the band, but hearing their songs on the radio reminds me of how young and excited Amanda was. And then that even reminds me of a younger me, going to see my favorite bands in concert with all my friends. We would always go to my friend Cynth Cynthia Chapman's house beforehand and smoke pot in her basement like we were so slick. Her parents definitely knew what we were doing. Wait, when was the last time you smoked- Whoa, that, that was out of left field, Yarth. Matt stops and thinks for a moment. It's been decades, bullshit. Dude, me too. Quickly hides Bong <laughs> that he was just getting out to offer to Matt. Where do you even get pot now? Is that even what the kids call it these days? I don't know, but I bet I could find out. Do you want to get high and listen to our new records? Whoa! Do it! Do it! Um... Yeah, why not? Um... Yeah, why not? But... Get... Because get it's illegal? Man. Sleep with his handsome man. But do it's it. illegal? But you want to be cool. We are... We be cool. have a child, Corwin. You're not going to make it with this guy. Yeah, your child's going to college. This is the perfect time to start blazing up with your favorite No, if I get arrested guy. for possession, I don't then think you're going to get arrested for possession. Why do you think that? Why because did you think that kid's PGA. name was Christian, you dumbass? <laughs> hey, I got us right with the next thing that came up with the brownie, remember? No, I was right you with the didn't. brownie. Yes, I was. You were you, about to eat no, that brownie. No, but, okay, no, that was the next, next thing. You said click the renegade option, and now that kid hates us, yeah, in addition to that other that kid, kid Your kid loves True. you, and that's what matters. Yeah, and she loves She's a, a father dog. that's not you in You know prison. what? This is your dad. You do you, square guy. All I'm saying is that if you want to get with the cool guy, <laughs> you know I what? think you should be cool about it. <sighs> well, I'm saying. No, 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 no. That's all right, man, fine, but you're lost. No, nah, man, I think I'm good. It... Oh, it's you. It yeah, has Lou Juvenile, I guess. Let's go back to my place and listen to them. Yeah, see, you can have just you as much... You got a bunch of hearts. You can have just as much fun you sober. You another C boring date. Matt and right. I walk back through the cul-de-sac and head into his house. I hope he isn't bummed about the no-weed thing. He is. But being responsible... Being a good father is more important... Than she's getting this dad She's graduated dead. and gone to college. She has not graduated. She's having trouble, and she needs to get scholarships, and I need to pay the rest. 
Yeah, but that's like with your We sit and shirts. listen through the Diet Sig album that Matt bought, which is catchy as hell. I look around the room again and see photos of Carmen Sita growing up. I spot a young woman with a huge smile in one of the pictures with the two. Who's that? Oh, that's Rosa. She was Kasha's mother. She died when Kasha was young. Dude, me too. I'm sorry to hear that. Amanda lost Alex at a young age too. I can understand how hard that must have been. I look around again, spotting a framed gig poster hanging on the wall. On it, there's an illustration of Matt and Rosa surrounded by flowers. The cursive lettering reads, Stillness and st Stillness the Dancing. Looks like they played the Soundgarden over a decade ago. Were you two in a band? Were you two in a band together? Oh, man. Yeah, that was the reason I was touring so much when I was younger. We traveled the whole country in this rinky-dink little van. This guy is too cool for us, honestly. I Anyway, go ahead. Mm -hmm. It was hard to start, but once we started gaining that neutrality, we seen how much our songs meant to kids. It was just incredible. Wow, that seems like a life some people only dream of. It was, and it was difficult at the same time. I couldn't have done it without somebody by my side. Rose and I knew that we couldn't do it forever. Long hours on the road, missing our family, sleeping in the van, all that stuff. So when she became pregnant with Carmcita, we put down her roots in our favorite little town and play right here. Since she was a kid, Rosa had a dream of own a quiet little coffee shop. She, uh, she died before it opened. Oh, that's sad. I'm so sorry. Oh, man. Don't be. Her ashes are sprinkled around the floor. I put him in the coffee grounds. <laughs> I, I'm not really sure what to say. I couldn't possibly count the number of times I told people the same after Alex died. Hey. Matt gets up and flips the record. Next to the turntable, I notice a dusty piano. Do you play? Uh, I'm out of practice. I used to jam on the keys back in the day. Spread jelly all oh, over them. Yeah? It was disgusting. They were very sticky. I fronted the hottest seven-piece ska band that Eagle Rock Bay High School had, uh, had to offer. No way! You had a ska phase? It never ended. It's not a phase. S this man is me. <laughs> phase? Ska never dies. Except for Scommunist Manifesto, who broke up after the senior talent show to pursue solo careers. Dude, that's so rad! It really is. Matt pulls out the piano bench. Give me some of that two-tone love. <laughs> oh man, let's see if I still got it. Clang, clang, bling, boom. That's how I play piano. I sit down at the piano. Uh. Anyway, here's Wonderwall! <laughs> Dude, ska roots. Ska roots. Definitely ska roots, but. That's that still is, really fun. I make that. Anyway. Hey, I think I'm doing it. I'm playing ska. Wait, that was just smoke on the water. <laughs> Matt, I've forgotten how to play. I don't know, smoke on the water is, yeah. The deep purple is always appreciated nonetheless. All right, buddy. Can you top that? I, top that. uh, shouldn't. Oh, come on. He hasn't played since his wife died. Oh, we're making this the worst. No, I'm, it's been a long time. I think we drop it. No, help me make decisions, goddammit. This is your show, too. I but I but I want us to do the other thing. Really? I feel like I feel like that's pushing. I feel like he's gonna be. Drop it. All right. Okay, buddy. Sorry to put pressure on you. I mean, it's not a problem. It was good to watch you get back in touch with the musical flows through you. I learned to play that song when I was fifteen. Matt and I sit and listen to more records until it gets late, and I decide that I need to go to bed. Matt walks me to my door. You might have been right. Damn it. Night, dude. I smile. Night. Wanna make out? I walk inside, the house is dark, save for the silver light coming from beneath Amanda's door. Ah. I knock lightly on the door and enter Amanda's room. She's sitting at her desk with her camera, editing photos. Hey, Amanda. Amanda swivels around in her chair to face me and slumps down. Oh, what's wrong? So, what's up? Huh? Dad, I'm hungry. Shit, did I not? Wait, no. Hi, Hungry. <laughs> no! I'm dead. <laughs> Amanda collapses on the floor. 
I promised myself I'd never let it come to this. Sorry, kiddo. You set it up. I spike it down. You're a monster. Want some spaghetti? Yes, please. Oh. Amanda and I boil pasta and heat sauce up in a pan. Well, I boil pasta and heat sauce up while Amanda watches. Despite my best efforts, I'm not able to set it on fire. <laughs> How is the record collecting? It was great. Did you know that Matt used to play in a band? No way! Was he good? I don't know if the band was good, but he played some piano for me tonight and it was a... No, he didn't. Liar! He played piano for you? Dude! Yeah. I brought it up and they should play at the open mic night that's happening in the coffee shop, but he got kind of weird about it. Hey, I saw a flyer for that. We should go. It's not too late to start a father-daughter punk band and play a couple of tunes there. Yeah, let me break out my... Glockenspiel? Glockenspiel. I have no idea what that word was. I think I only know hot cross buns, but we can work off that chord progression. It's also three blind mice. We got this. Amanda and I have a nice dinner before she goes back to her room to do photography stuff. I end up watching True Life. I'm a house hunter. <laughs> They're staging an intervention for the house hunter who is crying uncontrollably over the color of the walls. They know they can paint the walls of their house with any color they want, right? That song is stuck in my head all night. Go ask your mother. Date complete. How'd we do? Orly, I bet. But look at that sky look bar. Look how low your dad points look are. Look how... Uh, B! Better than C! You're all- you- you shut up! Could've gotten an S. No. I don't know, I don't- I'm- The more we d dig into this, the more I think that we don't belong with Matt. Like, I don't think- I don't think he's the I guy mean, for I us. agree, I don't think you're cool enough to be with Matt. You're right! So, you're right, I'm way too late. Like, he seems so socially let's, awkward, let's but he's kinda- let's go hook up with the vampire guy, because that's right. clearly the best- On the do. next episode, we'll <laughs> do that. Um, what do you guys think our retirement plans are? Answer down below. We'll record the right answers and give shout outs to people who get it right. Uh, give us game suggestions down there as well. If you like our stuff, subscribe to the channel and share the videos around to your friends because that'd be neat. Bye, guys. Deuces! <laughs>